What up everybody, Nero the Hero here, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick little overview of my audio recording process and just how I do my audio stuff, because a few people have asked me actually, and I'm actually kind of flattered because it means I've uh, been doing something right in all of my trial and error that I've been um, attempting here. So um, basically, first thing you want is voice meter banana. Second thing you want is either Adobe Audition or if you don't have the moolah to afford Adobe Audition, the subscription, you can download Audacity. Um, I would recommend Audacity just because it's, I definitely recommend it just because it's a, it's a free program, first of all, and it's very powerful as far as what you can actually do. Like whether you want to record an interview, if you want to, you know, make like a song and record your vocals over like the, an instrumental or a beat or something like that. I, I use it for all of those things. So, um, yeah. And then as far as voice, uh, meter banana, it is a pretty neat little um, virtual audio mixer. You can go online, download it for free, and if you so choose, you can leave a donation down here at the bottom of their webpage. So moving on to the next step, the way I have my audio stuff set up is I, first of all, I use a blue snowball microphone. It's an awesome mic, don't get me wrong. However, I feel like it could be a little more, um, there could be a little more substance to my audio. And actually, let me um, show you guys what it sounds like before I do anything to it. This is what it sounds like before I do any of my um, fancy stuff. And just to be honest with you, I don't, I don't, th I didn't think that this was like the full potential of the microphone. So that's why I started using this because I heard that you can actually, you know, change. You have a lot more control over your microphone. So. I have it set to about here. This is like a visual kind of equalizer sort of deal. There's a couple of different effects you can apply to this. Um, there's a modulator and then you can adjust the position too. So if I want to sound like a crazy demon person, I can do that if I want to. But I don't want to, so, <laughs> so I won't. And I can also um, adjust it towards left or right, left, right, left, right. And if you double click, it'll just go back to the default settings. So I leave it about there to leave to, it gives my voice a little bit like of a warmer feel, kind of just makes it all warm and fuzzy and tingly inside, hopefully like in a non like weird way. Anyways, um, so you have um, up to three uh, hardware inputs and then you have up to three hardware outputs and then you have two virtual inputs here. Um, so basically, the only outputs I mess with is just my headphones. This is where I have my headphones plugged in. It's plugged into my motherboard, actually, so that's what's um, driving the sound there. So do you just do that, um, whatever it is, if it's your speakers or your headphones. I recommend headphones, so that way um, you can actually turn this on and off, so you can actually monitor your voice while you're recording. So th that's just a nice thing to be able to do just so you can like make sure it sounds good before you start recording like an hour long session or something like that. The worst thing you can possibly do is record like an hour long worth of audio and go back and then it's just garbage and you have to get rid of all of it, which has happened to me before. So, and then you have your virtual outputs. Basically you're going to, this is what, this is your channel that's outputting to your recording software. In my case, that would be Audacity. Now what I did was I actually went ahead and recorded something prior. So I'll open up Audacity. Okay, do that. And then I'll drag that into there. Just read from the original, that's fine. So what you do, what you wanna do before you start recording your audio is we, what you wanna do is record a clean in. So basically that is just capturing nothing but just the kind of ambient room noise without you talking, which sounds like this. What up everybody, Nero the Hero here, and this is just a quick mic check, yeah. So as you can see, there was a little bit of room noise so we want to get rid of that because it doesn't sound good especially if you have people watching your videos who listen on headphones it's just I don't know for with me if there's a lot of room noise or background noise just constant humming like in your dome it like it gives you kind of a headache after a while or at least me anyways so I like to get rid of it so what you do is you just um, take your mouse cursor and then you highlight a small section of the room noise just give it like I don't know maybe like a second or two Let's just let's just do that. Let's call that good. And then you go into an effect and then you do noise reduction. And then what you're going to want to do is get a noise profile. 
So what that's going to do basically is you're telling Audacity, hey, remember this piece of audio because I want you to go into the track and get rid of this in a second. So you do that, get noise profile, and then you go into back up into effect. Actually, before you do that, you highlight your entire track, go into effect. You highlight the entire track because you want the effect to apply to all of the entirety of your audio. So then you go into noise reduction. And you know, to be honest with you, the noise reduction, the 12, it's probably a bit much. So let's try, let's just try six and see what that does. Um, then, so once you have it all highlighted, you hit okay. And then it'll reduce your noise. Okay, see, as you can see, it kind of reduced the noise wavelength a little bit, but let's, we want to go back. We want to reduce it even more and get rid of it completely. So let's try the default setting, which was 12. Usually that's the one I use anyways, because that tends to work the best for my particular situation anyways. Um, you know, depending on, you know, your room and stuff like that. <coughs> Pardon me. You, um, you, you may have to adjust that accordingly. So just hit OK. And then, yeah, there you go. Check that out. Listen to it. What up, everybody? Nero the Hero here. And this is just a quick mic check. Yeah. So as you can see, it got rid of pretty much all of the background noise. And you can cut that little bit out. That was me. That was probably when I was hitting the record button uh, at first. The mic probably just picked that up. Which you're going to end up cutting this whole section out anyways when you pull it into your editing software. So that's pretty much how to do noise reduction in Audacity. Um, I'm also going to show you how to do it in Adobe Audition. So I will be right back. All right, guys, we are back and I am in Adobe Audition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this audio in here and pretty much it's going to be exact same process. So you just want to take maybe like a second or two, second and a half, doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, you go in here to effects, um, then you want to do capture noise point, which is basically the same thing as get noise profile and audacity. And then you go down to noise reduction, restoration, noise reduction, process. Boom, and then what you want to do is highlight the entire track again, and then hit apply, and then there you go. What up everybody, Nero the Hero here, and this is just a quick mic check, yeah. And there you have it. So there you have it guys. Um, that's pretty much what I do when I'm playing around with my audio and stuff like that. I, you know what, I'm actually going to show you one more uh, neat little trick in, uh, it's basically how Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere work in conjunction with each other. So I'll just, I'll be right back and I'll show you guys uh, this nifty little uh, thing here. All right, guys, we are back and I have Adobe Premiere open here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that sample track, pull it into Adobe Premiere, close that out, and then I'll drag it into a sequence here. Bada bing, bada bam. And then, whoops. There we go. And then as you can see, there is, um, wait, hold on. What? Oh, I'm not in the sequence. That's why. <laughs> Anyways, so sorry about that. So as you can see, um, this is before the noise reduction has been um, applied. So what you want, what you can actually do is you can take the audio from your Adobe Premiere project, pull it into Audition, do your noise reduction, and then it, what it will do is it will fluidly save into your back into your audition sequence so you what you do is sorry I might have gone kind of fast there you right click hit edit clip in Adobe audition it'll open up audition and then there's your audio track right here and then what you do is you grab your noise profile or your noise print highlight everything go into effects noise reduction process hit apply there you go. And then when you do, um, let me just move this over here so you guys can see it. You hit control. Sorry, that was my phone. Control save or control S to save. And then when you get back over here into Premiere, bam, it does the noise reduction for you. So that's a really awesome feature. So for those of you who use Adobe Audition primarily, you can actually record your audio directly into Adobe Audition. And um, you can have it basically go into Audition through voice meters. So you can have um, full control over your microphone and your levels and stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much it, you guys. If uh, any part of this was confusing to you, please, please, please feel free to ask me a question. You can. The easiest way to probably get at me is probably on Twitter, um, at Nero the Hero. I will leave a dis um, I'll leave a link to in the description below so you guys can follow me, shoot me a direct message. I'm always on Twitter talking to my YouTube friends and stuff like that. So, in fact, I'm probably I'm actually doing this video. For 
for uh, some of my YouTube friends who asked me about how I do my audio. So, hey guys, how you doing? Um, anyways, that's going to pretty much do it for today, you guys. I will see you on the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other and do something heroic today. This is Nero the Hero signing out. Peace.